同学们好，欢迎回到中国文化学院，我们一起学习中国文字、语言、文化和历史。Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. He's Chinese class. We're learning Chinese language characters, culture, and history together. Today we're going to move on now on the lesson four, the second session, New Year's Day, or we are introducing uh, something re activity related to New Year holiday season. So the name of the number, the section two, in Chinese, 过大年, or 过年, literally translated to passing, 过, 经过, we learn this school, right? Uh, that's passing from the, the last day of the previous year to the first day of the new year. That's cross or 过, passing, pass. 大年 or 新年 is the same thing. Why we use 大 means it's important because it's the last day, intersection of the last day of last year and the, the first day at the beginning of the new year. So that's how it's important. Important means it, it's big. When, when we say something big, we say it's big, it's important. 过大年, 过新年 is the same meaning, but 大 emphasize it's important. Okay? 很重要, important. 生活之过大年, 过新年, let's dive in. 大家我们开始. 新的生字, 新的字, always say 生字. 新学字, it's a new, means a 生. New born. It's kind of new character born in your heart, in your memory. It, through your mouth, through the ear, through your eye, okay? 新生字, new vocabulary. 抱, 汤, 脚, and 脚, 手, and this are we learn. If you can remember, kind of, huh? okay, we're getting to that. 抱, is actually uh, the basic 不熟, 不熟, it's here, pro, pro, the same pronunciation. 同样的发音, 四声, 抱, 抱, means do it by force or harsh. Now, 抱, this part is from this part. Or, original meaning is baking under the sun. Baking the things, the things under the sun, right? Bare hand with bare hands underneath this rice. Bare hands, the meaning of the, this part, of the grass. Everything is baking under the sun. That's the original meaning. So that's harsh. That's forced. Because when it's really hot in summer, in the hot summer, if you don't have shield, that's the feeling of bao. That's the original meaning. Then extend it. Talk about the shen. Right? Talk about the shen. Extend meaning. Anything by force. Like very strong wind. Bao feng. Or windstorm. Feng bao. Bao Feng, if I have a, a, another character added right after this Bao Feng, that's rain, yu, right? We learned this yu. Bao Feng yu. And the windstorm. Storm, the big rain, heavy rain, right? Or by force, the Bao Li. That's, these are very common used to compose by this Bao. If you add a fire on the left, 在左边加一个火, explosion. The meaning of bow, extortion. This is a bamboo, zhu, remember? In the ancient time, in the holiday season, putting fire on the bamboo, explodes. Then the bamboo explodes. But nowadays we use paper to run it up with some um, explosive material to make a firecracker. Okay. It's called 爆竹, or 鞭炮, or 
power tool. There's another character I'm going to review for you. If you, I think you should remember. This is a power cannon, right? Change this to water, 三点水. Change this to a hand, change this to a foot. It's different word, different character. Remember? Okay, 爆竹, that's a firecracker. Fireworks, explosive thing. 爆, that's the wrong way to save in very common or uh, oral koi, oral language, oral speaking koi. We learned both of this character before. Yenugi language, koi or oral language. Fang bao zhu. If you light it up, called a dian bao zhu. We learned this before too. Light it up. Right. Okay, that's about basically from here. So you can imagine if we, we add a different uh, this or this. Right? Could it be different? Right? You can uh, kind of uh, uh, guess what, the, what does it mean, right? We're getting to that. But remember this is uh, original buso or original character. For any character adding different buso, 加上左边的buso, 普通的buso, 火,水,日, and so on and so forth, okay? Second character, 汤圆, 汤, we didn't learn this, we didn't learn this before, but we learned this before. Remember? That's yin yang the yang, positive side, yang side, man side, strong side, right? Surface side instead of inside, uh, strong side instead of soft side, man side instead of versus uh, female side, right? Okay, male, female, strong and soft. Big and small, you know, outside, inside. That's young. Obviously, this part contribute. You will be in contributed pronunciation with the ng. That's a tang. Tang means originally is hot water. Now it's like, or more used to describe the soup. Tang. He tang. 吃汤, 汤, the origin is just hot water. 汤圆, this we learn the fang and the yuan, right? A circle. This is a square. This is a circle. Fang, 汤圆 is sweet dumpling. Okay? Sweet dumpling. Most of you have a, have a, have a, should have an experience to eat sweet dumpling. Fang Yuan, sweet dumpling like this, inside embedded uh, sweet material, sugar, a different kind of, different kind of, sugar is just part, one of the components, I can have all kinds of things, like a red bean, make it very soft, you know, mixed with a different flavor of a kind of a sugar or sweet things. Use a sticky rice to, to make make the ball. Tang yuan, sweet dumpling. Yeah, it's a ball. Like, could be something inside, embedded inside, or could be just nothing. But if that could be nothing, if, if, if you use the, just the sticky rice to make a ball without anything embedded in, then you want to add some um, uh, sugar in the, in the tang, which is a soup. Because this, this is a yuan too. Right, to, it's cooked in uh, hot water. That's called a tang yuan. Okay, so it's not hundred percent new. As long as you understand, 你记得右边的部首, pronounced as yang, and this whole thing pronounced as yang too. But uh, this part give the vowel that's uh, ang a n g ang. Right, so this is tang, yi sheng tang. Okay, written like this originally. See, this is the water. See? Okay? 
Then this is a big tang yuan, this is a small tang yuan, big and small. That's da tang yuan, xiao tang yuan. So this character is quite useful whenever you can use the dictionary bigger and smaller, you can da xiao. Some square is a fang, some uh, a circle is yuan. So you actually can compose a lot of things already. You just need to use it whenever you see something. So how to say that square thing in Chinese? Fang, how to say that the ball or circle thing, yuan. All right? Then we learn the long, chang, short, duan. Right? Okay? The third one, we, we, we come with some with this one, we'll pronounced as jiao. <clears throat> jiao. Original meaning is a, a human cross the leg. See? It's the leg, cross the leg. That's the original meaning. Cross the leg. Just choose the picture. Just like another character we learned before, standing straight, that is li, remember? Zan li. It's written like this, and here is the ground. Zhan li, L-I, si sheng. This is jiao, this is the original meaning, cross the leg. And if you add jia uh, sheng, add jia sheng, A-D-D, add jia sheng, zuo bian jia sheng, yi ge bu shou, a radical on the left. What is that pronounce? Give you two seconds. How to pronounce it? Shi, second. Tong. Shi means eat or food. If you use it as a noun, it's food. If you use it as a verb, it's, that's eat. Original meaning of this is see, it's a cookware. Mm -hmm. It's a cookware. Yeah, you make it simpler, simpler to, for you to remember understand it's a, a, a cookware whatever cooked something to eat, or whatever inside the cookware, that's food. So that's how I extend it to this thing, shi. Then something can be, is eatable, can be eaten, pronounced as jiao, because it's pronounced as jiao, from the, the vowel here, i-a-o, i-a-o, jiao, jiao, zi. this pronoun could, could pronounce as zi, like Lao Zi, Kong Zi, Jun Zi, but here it's just to use to form a Zi here, so there's a no tone or light tone. Jiao Zi. It's not uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, no, it's just Zi. Jiao Zi. Make it a light. What is Jiao Zi? Like this, dumpling, right? And the wide way uh, yeah, in Chinese New Year, in the northern part of China, people are going to eat the jiaozi at the beginning of New Year, right past 12 o'clock, when you light up all those the, the fire, firecracker. They, the, the whole family make this by hand before that time, which is in the, the last couple of hours in the Old year when they eat together at the beginning of New Year, jiaozi. First of all, it looked like a, it looked like a, something this symbolize fortune. A lot of this is gold, or this could be cast by gold or by silver. Fortune, good luck, good fortune, or richness so it's good wish a whole family every family member eating the thing together wish everybody make a lot of money have a lot of fortune in the new year that's one layer meaning why eating jiaozi the second layer, layer meaning is more deep uh, cultural connotation wise wenhua han cultural connotation because you eat it right at the you do it before the changing the midnight of time and eat it right after it. So it's it's a place, the time to cross the leg, you know, shifting. So 
So that's how you want to eat jiaozi. You want to change from the old year to new year. You, can, you, you cannot come from nowhere, but you want to have a better year. Okay? You change something not that good in the first previous year and you want to get something good, better in the new year. So that's called jiaozi. Then at the same time symbolizing fortune or rich, richness because all kind of form of casting form of a gold or a silver in Chinese looks like jiaozi. This is a sui jiao or tang jiao because if you boil it. Okay, that's a sui jiao, sui water or tang jiao. So you use sauce, hot sauce with uh, soy sauce, with vinegar, with um, some spicy stuff. Really delicious, okay? Uh, adding some of the green things should be uh, scanning or some little bit of garlic or some uh, ginger. It's gonna, it's very delicious. You know, when you eat it, you have a lot of, uh, you get kind of sweating. Another form of jiao is uh, jian jiao, it's a fried dumpling. We just cook it with uh, on the pan, which you can you usually use to make pancake. Drop several drops of um, oil, uh, plant oil, like um, bean oil or like um, corn oil, whatever oil, okay, to fry it on the on the pan. I also use um, soy sauce and uh, vinegar as the sauce. Or you can add some hot oil here. I mean, spicy pepper, hot pepper thing here. But definitely, in the, well, in the New Year, New Year's is more commonly eaten sui jiao or tang jiao because symbolizing everybody of the family. Like, mmm. We're making it together. We cook it together. In the water, we just like, oh, we're, 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 we're communicating. We embrace each other like in the water and eat it together. So, yeah, this is more like a daily thing. But if some people prefer this, they can do this, but this is more common. So that's jiao, is it? Remember, this is jiao, okay? We learned this character before, tong, re, pass through. When you put this tong here, jiao tong, translated in at transplantation. Okay, transplantation. Okay, this so means uh, weight or originally actually it's a safeguard that extended to weight. So this is a house. Mian, little mian xin, remember? Underneath a, a roof in a, in a certain area, you have to follow certain regulation. This is a twin. That's inch. Also, it's a measurement. Then extend as regulation. Then you abide by it. So, this is another way to say nian, remember? Year. Pronounced as sui. Sui. Still remember, right? Okay, if you don't remember, re review with me now. Okay. So Sui means the New Year is that a tradition Ex except that all the young kids, the adults or young adults are going to stay awake until the New Year they come and fire up all the firecracker, eat all the uh, jiaozi or tangyuan, I forgot. Because in this northern part, the south part of China, mainly eat Tang Yuan. Same kind of meaning, symbolizing Tuan Yuan. Harmonize. When it's harmonized, it's circle, it's not square. Right? When you're happy, your face shapes like circle, it's not square. Man, that's no good, right? And also some very sweet stuff embedded into this Tang Yuan, symbolizing 
outside symbolizing everything harmonized, so round, so round, oh, in the in circle, everything's good. And in the water, it's kind of, mm. and also, it, uh, you always have some sweet things happening. Inside, you're so happy, the whole year. But nowadays, uh, northern part and southern part of China eat both, because people are more traveling, you know, they, they, they kind of keep their uh, habit in the young age. Or people just like to eat both, okay? They're the same kind of meaning, okay? Tang Yuan. After so sweet, when cross it, you light up all uh, the firecracker, all the thing happening, then you eat. Then at least you cannot, you don't sleep till this thing finished, till this nian, remember here? Then you can sleep. But usually when I, when, so in my generation, when we were very young, we, we cannot stay that far. Uh, we just fall asleep. And then when it comes to New Year, then the, the parents just wake us up. Say, okay, it's time to come, time to eat. Or another way to say bian pao. Uh, you know it, you know it, you don't know it, you just remember bao zhu or pao zhu, that would be fine. So that's all. That's uh, the, this page, character one. Yi, er, san, si, wu. Okay. The most common used uh, si. Uh, fang bao zhu. But I want to make something here. The purpose of so sui is for pray for bless blessings and get rid of or push away or dispel all the evil spirit. That's qi xie. We learned this qi before. So the pronunciation of this character from coming from this qi. Lai shi kan, qi shi go, remember? But at this part, 左边的部首是四, related to sin. You want to pray for the good God, because they are the, the, their demon, their kind of a God too. Uh, in the Chinese uh, culture, connotation is a kind of a bad God, right? A good God, 好的神,坏的神, 神, a very common translation for sin is a God. Or divine, divine being, divine being. There's a good part and the bad part. Good part, a praying good God, good divine being, help to get rid of uh, those bad, bad uh, demons. The bad God called the demon has a name. Good one is called the God, called the Shen. Oh, okay. If it's a bad one, called the Xie Shen, could be used in Chinese called the Xie Shen. Okay, Qi, Qi. It's called pray. This is a bonus. If you want, can remember, you can. I don't, I don't, you can. You can just ignore it. But basically, qi fu qi xie. That's the function for shou sui. Or you can take this comma off qi fu because they are doing it at the same time. You pray to the good divine being help you to get rid of the bad, the demon, the bad, or evil spirit, or the bad divine beings. Right, because it's a yin and yang balance. In human level, the yin yang balance. In higher level, in Chinese cultural conversation, it's also balance. It's a good God, big good, bad God, or a good divine being, a bad divine being. The one that say God is, is not the um, uh, Western culture connotation. Culture connotation that kind of God is just uh, uh, in Chinese it's good uh, shen, divine being. So there's yin and yang, and good and bad. Qi fu and qu xie. xie on the left side is ya, that's big tooth. What, what's in front? What's front, front teeth called? Chi, ya chi. So, so this is xie, the pronunciation coming from this. And the, the character as a bonus is not righteous, bad, or even evil. There's a different meaning, but I usually use it as an evil, evil, or 
spirit, a bad spirit, or evil higher beings. Higher beings still have a bit of one, just then that, that we call you, we call them demon. Okay? Get rid of a demon or evil spirit. Okay? So that is the uh, these five characters. So there's uh, Fang Bian Pao, Bao Zhu, or Pao Zhu. This is a um, um, scul uh, sculpture by a very famous um, brand in, in past hundred or more years. Called Ni Ren Zhang, Ni means mud. The last name is Zhang, this, this artist is in the last name is Zhang. He used mud to do the sculpture. Uh, dyed it with different uh, color. This is a, a scenery describing the kids light up the firecracker like this. Uh, you don't really see very often in the US, at least in my experience, like this. This has to be done in time. In the New Year Day, okay. Cross. When, when, when you just pass 12 o'clock uh, night, or in the early morning, people do this. To get rid of this, to get rid of uh, all the demon, scare them away. Because red color, because the light, you know, explosive kind of sound, scare them away, okay? Here is the, uh, another cup of uh, capture I, uh, I want to share with you. The first one is Ya. Ya means suppress, oppress or suppress. Okay. Ya Sui Qian, usually in the New Year Day, the parents or grandparents are going to give the kids a certain amount of money. How to do that? The ancient ancient time, uh, because uh, the small kids are really uh, are relatively weak, so when they are, uh, it was a kind of a custom or a belief that, uh, especially at the end of the year, some of the evil spirit come to make trouble to these kids because they are relatively weak compared with the adults. So, but all the evil spirits are scared of bright thing, like firecracker or something like um, the uh, penny coined by uh, Cooper, shiny, uh, shiny. Usually, uh, the parents or grandparents give the kids the new uh, penny. It's really shiny, kind of yellowish or a silverish kind of a shiny new coins like this. Give them a couple of them, put it underneath in, in a small bag and put it underneath the pillow of the kids. Then they can scare off the evil spirit. So that's called Ya Sui. And all the evil spirit has another capital described, pronounced as Sui. Here, Sui. Or bad spirit. Original meaning of this character is it's not. It's just uh, um, remember we talked about this. It, it come from this, right? This is a, a Tian D show you the vertical Tao, the, the Tao on the young side and the Tao going to the inside. Upper part is true coming out. That's the upper part. Original meaning of this capital is not evil spirit. It's the, the higher beings show because you did something wrong. You have done something wrong. And uh, to kind of warning you and show you some um, uh, instruction, give you some message that uh, make you feel, make you scared. Okay, that's the original meaning of the Sui. Then, gradually, it, it, it extended or evolved to a meaning as a, a bad spirit or evil spirit. Originally, it doesn't, but now, later on, it's more and more used to describe an evil or bad spirit. Pronounced as Sui, 
It's the same pronouncing as this one year three. Originally, I just uh, described the uh, parents or grandparents give the shining coins, put it underneath the, uh, the pillow of the kids to scare away those bad spirits. It's called Ya Suppress. Press and suppress the bad spirit. That money, Chen, that's money. Money, okay? Like this. Or even if some very rich family they even give them some gold or silver, it's even more shining, okay? To suppress, to scare away the bad thing. That's called Ya Sui Chen. They even somehow along the time, then the Sui, because they're same pronunciation, then change this. Because people don't like this sui because it's bad. So then they change this sui. Every year, new year, old sui and the new sui and uh, suppressed all bad things. It was called the Ya Sui Chen. So in tradition, in New Year, parents or grandparents is can give are going to give the kids some new coins. It's kind of a um, Blessing or good wish. Gift. It's kind of gift. Okay? The kids are all looking looking forward a long time, a couple months ahead. So okay, where do I when can I get my Ya Shui Qian? Okay? That's in the Chinese tradition. Jin Qian or you can say Yin Qian. Basically it's a Qian or Tong Qian. I'm reviewing all the characters for you. Tom Cooper, Silver, and Gold. But the Jin Qian then is generalized to just to describe money. Okay? And you have money, or this is a rich man. That's the Yo Qian Ren. I don't have too much money. Or Sao Qian. Or Mei Qian, if you learned this character before. Or you, you heard of it or learned this or heard of the Mei Qian. I don't have money. I barely have money, it's like a Sao Qian. Duo shao, duo, or you. This is more, this is less, and this is have, or wu qian, you may, mei qian, you don't have money. Right, wu qian, you wu, duo shao. You qian ren, you can add, okay? That's a rich people. Chains like this, so, okay? And uh, there's the one com very common used uh, tsu is gui gui. Sui is related to this sui. Gui gui sui means sneaky or stealthy, st stealthy, you know, not very noble, not righteous, just do something really bad. But they, they are scared to be seen by other people, so they do that kind of behavior. You know, that's called a gui gui shui shui, all right? We learn this gui, right? Ghost. Because we, we learn the huan. Poor. Remember? Where where does this that's a that's a normal spirit everybody has in their body. This stay in liver, this stay in lung. This is a young this uh, spirit is barely young and this spirit is barely in. San Huan Qi Po, we learned this, remember? And uh, uh, the original meaning of the ghost, Gui, is uh, ancient Chinese believe that people die, their spirit never die. So that spirit after people die, it's called a Gui. Okay? All right, that's, that's actually the same kind of combination any place on this globe. All right? Okay, that's a, a, a very um, famous uh, New Year's kind of painting called Yang Liu Qing. Yang Liu Qing. Nian Hua is especially uh, uh, paint or joy for the New Year season, for the holiday season. So you see, all the colors are really happy, bright. Okay, that's, that's He Jia Huan Lu music. Uh, the whole family stay together. Uh, you have the kids over here, play outside. You have... Uh, uh, Older generation, okay, sitting together, okay, you have some other coming out to visit, to say, hey, happy new year, did we learn, we will show you last time, right? Man, gentleman, left cover, right, a lady's right cover, left, don't do it other way. 
around. That's a wrong thing to do unless that family you visit just have some people die and you go there to show your sympathy or your respect you do that way around. Otherwise don't do it, especially in New Year's season. If you did it wrong, if you did it wrong, that's really bad. Okay? That's not polite. That's not even just polite. It's really bad. Okay. That's called no cultured. Okay? That's a very common uh, painting. An ordinary um, Chinese family in New Year, they, they can put it on the wall or on the door, some other door. Okay? Alright? Nianhua called it. Nianhua. Especially for New Year season, called the Nianhua Hua is a picture, a painting. Okay, here comes we, uh, the, uh, the bella for this session. Basically, we only have one character here as a bonus. Boom! I mentioned this before when we describe about, about the movement of each part of the body. Boom, boom, tiao, tiao. This is another way to say tiao, jumping. Jump, but is is if the jump is really jumping, that's recorded the ball, right? It's just like a, a, a ball, that kind of a thing. But usually people jump, tell, uh, uh, it's not that kind of a sprinkle, a spring-like kind of jumping. More spring-like of jumping is called a boom. Boom. We learn the pong yo, right? This is pong. So the cap, the pronunciation is from here, underneath. If and they put this thing together, the original meaning of this is collapse of a mountain, a part of a mountain. And then use then add another buso on the left. That's zu, the foot, right? How can your uh, foot collapse? Let's go boom. Okay. Alright. The rest I think we just, uh, either we just taught a couple of minutes ago or before. Xin Nian Dao Fang Zhu Pao. Tu Nian Tu means rabbit. When we talked about uh, when we talked about uh Shar Di Zi, we also share with you that each animal. The zodiac, right? Then we're exposed to this too. If you don't remember, then you, you can treat this as a bonus, uh, like make it a, a blue, okay? Make it like a blue. This is dragon. Let's make it blue too. But at least you know, at least you know that um, last year is the uh, rabbit year, the year of rabbit, this year is the year of dragon. Xin Nian Dao, just come, Lai Dao, whether it is Fang Zhu Pao, Tu Nian Bong, because rabbit is just jumping. Nong Nian Lai Liao, Liao, San Sheng, Quan Jia, the whole family, Yi Qi, Quan Jia, Yi Qi, Shou Shou Sui, we just talked about Shou Sui. Stay awake across the year, right? Ying uh, Xie Qi, or you can say Qi Ying Xie, either way is okay. So, or you can put this thing here. Now we just Ying Xie Qi. Get rid of the bad spirit, then happiness and blessing, all the fortune coming. Fu Lai Dao. What we do with Su Jiao Zi Ho Tang Yuan? 北方饺子南汤圆北方吃饺子南方吃汤圆金银无数无数 right? means countless boundless okay immense 加美满 mei mei beautiful good man full full of beautiful thing that's mei man Harmonized wonderfully, perfectly. So much fortune, so much money. Jing yin wu shu, jia mei man. That's a wish for eating up this, or for lighting up this. Okay, for so sui, 
取阴邪去，哦，去阴邪福来到。All right, then re repeat the whole the whole thing. We call it. 抱住声声，抱住声声，声声声响 ，or the the sound from the firecracker is indicating. Is telling everyone that Xin Nian Dao New Year is here. Then we say to each other, "What? Xin Nian Hao." Okay, let me do it in Wendu way. Wendu we call it Wendu or、uh, classical style. Xin Nian Hao. Xin Nian Hao. Xin Nian Dao. Fang Zhu Pao. 兔年蹦去，龙年来了，全家一起手手睡，阴邪区，福来到，北方饺子，南汤圆，金银无数家美满，爆竹声声，新年到。新年好 ，Okay. Or you can stay here if you are good and remember most of the the character. Try to hear one more time. 新年好，新年到，放猪炮。兔年蹦去，龙年来了，全家一起手手睡，阴邪区福来到，北方饺子南汤圆，金银无数家美满，爆竹声声，新年到，新年好。Okay, enjoy, and、uh, this is、um, assignment 作业今天的作业 Read and write all the new character, but not really new. So there's a there's a they are together, they are together, and you learn all of the puzzle,、um, right? Or you this part, this part. 抱抱糖，嚼嚼，手压碎钱。<laughs> This can be a bonus, and you read through the Xinian Hao today's ballad and the the, the the ballad from last session, and all the other one you have time. Arrange your time, review everything, practice it, and use it in the still in the holiday season. 一年之计在于春，一天之计在于晨。Right? Then, 复习 or review all other texts or ballads. Based in your own schedule, based on your own schedule, it should be. Sorry for that. Raw, a bad English. Based on your own schedule. Okay, that's all for today, and see you next week. 谢谢大家，我们下周见。